Hi everybody, it's Bronwyn here, a demonstrator for Stamping Up here in Australia. Uh, I've had such a great response to this card uh, on a Facebook group uh, for demonstrators that I thought I'd make um, a tutorial for it as well. Really enjoyed making this card. It was a little out of my comfort zone, um, but I really wanted to uh, hone my skills with watercolor. Um, and so I used the Aqua Painter in order to um, make the background and then stamp on top of the um, colored rectangles. Sahara Sand, those three rectangles. Call Me Clover, the three going diagonally here. And the Coastal Cabana is this one, this one and this one. Okay, so let's get going and see how I go with this. First of all, I used a stamp block um, with my Aqua Painter in order to um, get the um, colours onto the paper. So just put a little dab of, this is the Coastal Cabana. I believe, yes, Coastal Cabana, Sahara Sand, and Call Me Clover. So visually, I divided my um, this piece of paper uh, into three lines and then three across here. So I wanted it to be freehand. I didn't. I try to make everything so perfect and um, get it exactly right. So this was taking me out of my comfort zone and actually having a try at. Um, being a little more freehand than I would usually be. So first of all, what you need to do is you need to drop, squeeze your Aqua Painter and make droplets onto the watercolor paper. Then spread those droplets out so that all that water soaks into your paper. I may have put a little bit too much on there, but that's okay, it'll soak in. It will warp the paper. Um, that's okay, it will dry. Once it's dry, um, you just put something heavy on it and it will flatten out nicely to make the card front. So, now you can see I've just taken water off there. So be careful how you handle it. Um, I'm just going to take a little bit of the um, Call Me Clover. Now, um, it dries, the ink dries darker than um, what it looks on the paper initially. So I've just loaded my Aqua Painter and I'm going to do a rectangle. And just coloring that now I can see that that is that color is bleeding out the sides there so that's really not what I'm wanting I've obviously put too much water on my paper so what I could do is just wait a few minutes and let that dry let's try pick up a bit more color here and try this looks a little bit drier Um, you could also use um, the heat gun in order to dry this out a bit more. So that's not too bad, that one. It's not bleeding quite. You can see this one here, it's bled quite a lot. So this one uh, was a little drier in that spot there. <coughs> I can see I've got quite a bit of water here, so I'm just going to get some paper towel that I have and just take a little bit of that excess off and see if that's going to make a difference for us. So 
I'm a beginner at doing this um, so it's a little bit of trial and error for me but you get the basic understanding of what I was trying to achieve. Now you can see here the difference so I've just spread that out like that. Now it's bleeding at the top here but it's not bleeding down the side here that means I've got uh, just the right amount of water on my watercolor paper but this is a little bit more too much water and that's bleeding. I'm just going to clean my brush off and we'll try a couple of the other colors. So you can see, look at this one here, you can see there it's really bleeding considerably. So the amount of water that you put on your paper initially, um, that will uh, affect how much it bleeds out like this so definitely less is best there might be other people who have better tips than this as I said I'm a beginner <laughs> um, and I've just gone off a YouTube clip that I watched for watercolor coloring in order to get this one so let's try another one here yeah see that's still bleeding so you really I've put way too much water And as you can see, like my technique filling in, it's like, you know, I really am a novice at this. But it just takes practice, doesn't it? I'm going to try a little bit of the Sahara sand because this side here is drier. You, look, you might even find that putting the water, not putting the water on is a better idea and making sure that your aqua brush is quite, has quite a lot of water. Now that one's worked out a lot better because the paper's dry. See the edges aren't fuzzy. This one, edges are fuzzy. So, you know, it's just a bit of, um, a bit of practice along the way. I'm not going to give up. I'm going to be using my aqua brush more and trying to perfect my my style now this is going on quite light but when it dries it's surprising you can see with that one there how dark it's actually going okay I'll leave that there and I've actually prepared one a piece for us to stamp on so that this video doesn't take too long. So here it is here and I've got it underneath the Stamparatus because so you can see the difference with this one here. This is a dried piece. See how um, the edges have been created quite there's quite a nice it's an irregular edge um, however the um, paint the ink has actually made a clear um, edge on it so it's a regular shape but a clear edge this one here with too much water that's just going to give you the fuzzy look and maybe you like the fuzzy look um, this is what I was going for though So what I've done here is I want to stamp this flower in the middle. So um, because this ink uh, needs, uh, that has a few applications to it. So there's, I've done, I've stamped that about three times. And so that's why I'm using the Stamparatus so that I can stamp it, the flower, and then let it dry, the ink dry, and then re-stamp it later. So all I'm doing there is just loading up that stamp with the ink and then pressing it down gently. I've found with this particular type of ink, if you press too hard, you don't get a very, um, it sort of, yeah, it doesn't make as good a job. So you can see there, that's definitely not the coverage that I have on this one. 
So I'm going to let that, I've stamped it, I'm going to let that dry and we'll go on to doing the, the black while we're waiting for that to dry. I'll just put that aside. Okay, so uh, now I just use the leaves. So here's one leaf here, and this is using Stays On Ink now. Um, the other thing that I'm going to do is to make a little template with just two... Um, off cuts of so this is just two off cuts of um, paper and I'm just going to put a little bit of sticky behind there because what I want to create is a little template like that so that when I want to stamp on this rectangle here I don't want to go onto the white areas if possible I what I wanted to do was actually keep within each of the rectangles. So here we go. Now I'm going to do that this way. And just holding it there for a few seconds just so that the ink uh, soaks into the watercolor paper and there we go so that's one done now I'll just get the palm tree So now I'm going to use my little template. I'm going to put it down here because I'm doing the palm tree. And I'm just going to ink up that side of the palm tree there. So the whole stamp doesn't need to have ink on it. And then... So you can see you need to be really careful that how you're inking up your stamp so that you don't get ink onto other parts. So there you go, there's the first two. And then all I did was worked my way around using the different um, stamps from the two stamp sets that I mentioned. And then this one here well, the sentiment was from this stamp set here, so always thinking of you. I had the thought of um, it was like I'd been on holidays and I was thinking of the people that I met uh, when I went on holidays. So that was the theme that I was going for. And then once you finish stamping all of this, You layer it on your card mat. I usually use uh, Tombow to glue things down. That's my preferred way, uh, my preferred adhesive. And then I place that onto the card base. And then what I did was I just glued a strip of the gold foil at the bottom, uh, at the top, and then again at the bottom. And voila, that was the final product. So um, I hope you enjoy making it. Would love to see um, feedback. Would love you to share my video as well and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching today. Much appreciated.